Hi. Today I'm going to teach you about the characteristics of Jesus. Let's just dive right in. Okay, so Jesus is a gentleman. Now, we must learn what that word means, gentleman. When I think of him, I think of the Prince of Peace. Okay, we take the word prince. What is a prince? I know the movies tell us one thing about princes. The definitions of this world tell us another thing. Every dictionary tells us a different thing about a prince. A prince is someone who is polite. A prince is someone who is well-spoken. A prince is also gentle, gentle man. You know, a prince is also someone who's inheriting their father's kingdom. So when I think of prince, I think of um, an heir to the throne, uh, a son of the king. I think of like uh, medieval terms um, where we have the king and then we have his predecessor when he dies as his son. And so that's when I think of prince. I think of someone who's gentle, who's kind, who's loving um, the nine fruits of the spirit. And those are the characteristics of Jesus. The opposite of those characteristics is someone who's violent who's brutal. Um, they're actually not soft-spoken or meek. They're actually prideful. They're arrogant and loud and boastful. And that's how we can kind of discern the things of this world. Uh, people I've met were at my job and obviously throughout life, and I've been one myself. But as we grow into the consciousness or the um, spirit of Christ, which is the Holy Spirit, we start to have become more clearly spoken. We start to become more gentle. We start to not be loud and obnoxious where everyone, causing everyone to see us. We actually become less and less um, recognizable to this world, which is basically we become more um, gentle and softly spoken. Now, I'm not talking about an intentional gentleness. I'm just talking about a, a natural uh, gentleness because it is the spirit of our Father who lives in us. So one way we can discern whom is whom is by the fruit of the tree Jesus describes, which is basically um, peace, patience, love, kindness, so on and so forth. It does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it's not self-seeking. The, the opposite of that is basically like a caveman. Someone who's loud, someone who's just, you know, is obnoxious and so on and so forth. And like I said, I, I'm learning these things. And that's also what I think a prince is. Someone who is humble and loving and kind and softly spoken and, and gentle and understanding and non-interruptive and so on and so forth and doesn't gossip and all that stuff. So those... People want to find the Christ consciousness, which is basically the Holy Spirit. Um, it's a gentleman and it's a prince and he's an heir to his throne. And, and if we are to inherit the throne, the kingdom of God, um, we will be moving in the same likeness of that prince quality or princess quality. Because I've met a lot of women who are very brutal and nasty and just or lustful or um, promiscuous and that is not of Christ for the women and and for the men that is those aren't of Christ qualities those are worldly qualities so I thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next next teaching God bless